This is Search for Tomorrow. Good evening. Stephanie. Stephanie Mills? <laughs> Stephanie! I was wondering how long it was going to take you. Oh, honey, is it any wonder I haven't seen you in years? No. You look wonderful, prettier than ever. Thank you. Listen, I'd like you to meet my manager, Miss Madeline Noble. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I guess, I guess you should take partial credit for this lady becoming so famous we never see her anymore. No, I think it's all the credit. Yeah, I know what you mean. A voice <laughs> like that doesn't grow on trees. What are you doing in town? Well, I'm visiting my aunt and uncle, and I'm here doing a little bit of rehearsing before I go out on my next concert. Oh, that's great. Oh, listen, you've got to come over and say hello to Tom. Huh? Tom! Tom, look who's here! <laughs> I'm sorry, I stepped in these bills. Oh, come on. It's been years. I know, too many. But listen, I'm here on a nice long visit, so maybe we can get together and do some catching up. Oh, that would be great. Okay. Uh, let me introduce you, Jenny Deacon, Stephanie Mills. Hi, it's really nice to meet you. Oh, same here. Listen, I'd like you to meet my manager, Miss Madeline Noble. Hello. Hello. Hey, listen, you got to come over and say hello to Joe. She's going to be thrilled to death. She has to see you and so can Stephanie and I, we, uh, we went to school together. I think, as a matter of fact, her aunt and her uncle yeah, still... Just an idea. You don't have to decide right away. Decide? What, what's to decide? We'd love it. Of course we would. Well, I just thought being that my aunt and uncle don't get a chance to see me on the road too often, they might get a kick out of seeing me perform here, and it would be a terrific place to try out the new numbers. So, so give us a date. All right, it'll have to be next week. No. Can we let you know? Listen, any time that's convenient for you. Okay. Oh, Stephanie, you have made a dream for us come true, really, honey. You know, Joe and I always wanted to feature entertainment here at the Riverboat. It start, started off with a bang like this, my God. Oh, well, then it works out for the both of us. Shall we shake oh, on it? Shake, you bet. <laughs> oh, bless your little heart. Now, come on. Sit down at the table, have some dinner, and tell yeah. us what you've been doing. Yeah, come on. Where do you taste our food? The track is like drawing me out a little bit. I just had to push just a little bit. It's beautiful, baby. Trust me. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> Gee, that was wonderful. Listen, I have an appointment with the PR people. So mm -hmm. I really have to leave now. But I will see you tonight. Okay. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow night. Yeah. Oh, Stephanie, Stephanie. What can I tell you? It was wonderful. The song was just wonderful. And so are you. You always say the perfect thing. <laughs> oh, he means it. Me too. I can't believe I'm standing here watching Stephanie Mills, like, live and in person. Oh, well, the song still needs a little bit of work, but I think we're getting there. Oh, no, come on, honey. You were terrific, really. I've never heard a sound like oh, that. Thank you. Stephanie, I want you to meet Brian Emerson, my husband. How do you do? And his partner, uh, John Colton. Right, They're both uh, police officers on the force here. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you both. Hey, I don't have to salute or anything, do I? <laughs> no, ma'am. Uh, we're here in a strictly unofficial capacity. We're just uh, a couple of fans like everybody else. Yeah, well, I've got news for you, couple of fans. Uh, Miss Mills here is going to be singing here tomorrow night. Yes. Yeah. So maybe oh. you can make the show, huh? Oh, right. Oh, yeah. That sounds we really love it. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to that myself, but I have a couple of things I have to run over. So will you guys excuse me for a yeah, minute? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Don't mind really? Up. Well, how about some coffee, you guys, huh? Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Sit down. Yeah. I can't make it, Joe. Oh, Mom. Oh, Travis is in. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I welcome, welcome to the riverboat. It's uh, this is really. 
a big night for us, the biggest ever. And, and it's uh, my privilege and my honor to introduce to you a young lady, a young talent whom I've known for many years who's come home to Henderson. I can remember way back when she always used to say, someday I'm going to be a singer. And her mother and father said, honey, you can be anything you want to be. So she packed her bags and took her hopes and her talent all the way to New York and wound up on Broadway. And she's been a big star ever since. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Stephanie Mills. <laughs> you all night yeah. but right now I'm gonna take a short break but I'll be right back so don't go away okay? why don't you go and talk to him if you want to who said I wanted to Cold. I am not blind, okay? And I wasn't blind the other day when you met her either. What are you talking about? You walking like that. Will you knock it off? Will you just go over and talk to her? What are you, crazy? No, I gotta stay here and talk to Kristen. Why don't you... Yeah, that's a good idea. Come on, let's talk to Kristen. No, I want to talk to Kristen alone. Why don't you go over and show Stephanie Mills some uh, hometown hospitality? I, I wouldn't even know what to say, man. All right. You walk up and you say, uh, Hi, how are you? And she'll say... Oh, I'm fine. I'm just fine. And then you say, uh, well, you know, it's uh, really nice to have you here. And then she'll say, well, it's really nice to be yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, And then she'll just turn around and split on no, it, right? No, no, no. Then you tell her you got all of her albums, which you do, and everything gets pushed, you see? Look, look, look. Forget about me. I'll be all right. Hassle Kristen for a while. Maybe. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. What do you think? Just because she's famous, she's made out of stone? Will you stop bothering me and hassle Kristen? I'll be all right. Believe me. bit more in my monitor, okay? Okay, babe. I'm also going to push out the rhythm section on the next number. It'll come through stronger. Oh, okay. Thank you. That's fantastic. Uh, 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 what do I say? Just say hello. Hello. Fine, fine. I'm, uh, fine. Uh, <laughs> real fine. That's good. You know, it's great being here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great being here. I mean, it's great to have you. I mean, it's, it's great that you feel it's great. Yeah, I do. You know, I really uh, enjoyed your work. Thanks. I'm into your music a lot. You are? Yeah, I've got all your albums. Really? Every single one. Which one is your favorite? Always the newest one, I guess. You know, just chill out with us. Is that some fun? Okay. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome her back one more time, Miss Stephanie Mill. Thank you. Hey, listen. This next song is a very special one that Stu Bergman asked me to dedicate to Wendy and Keith McNeil. And I also would like to dedicate it to someone I met tonight that's very special, who's kind and warm and gentle, and obviously a collector of fine recordings. Oh. <laughs> Get that smirk off your face, Emerson. Smirk? What's Get smirk? it off now, now. and tell him to go out and buy my recording. That's because we've got a lot of family here. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, what can I tell you? You were wonderful. Absolutely. Best night we've ever had. 
Thank you. You've met my aunt and uncle. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, I asked them if they could get you back here at least once a month. <laughs> oh, we were just so lucky to have you tonight. Did you were. Thank you for thinking of it, madam. Oh, yes, pleasure. and I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. I did. Thank you. Good luck, honey. <laughs> thank you. Come back soon. It was a beautiful show. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. How about that? It's the best. The best ever, honey. Huh? Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry to hear uh, you have to leave tomorrow. I know. That's the toughest thing about being in the music business. You meet someone nice one day, and the next day you have to leave. Yeah, but uh, you're bound to come back here sometime, right? I mean, you have family, right? Well, as soon as I can. <laughs> Good. Then maybe I'll see you again. Well, I'll make a point of calling the police department as soon as I get in. <laughs> Please do. <laughs>